Brooks, this is really my favorite thing to do in the classroom, and it's so wonderful that I can teach it to a, such a, an astute and qualified teacher assistant. And uh, it might be a trip down memory lane, it might not be, but nevertheless, mm -hmm. you're here to learn it. Okay. Well, I'm going to write this number here. What is that? Nine. It's a nine. You remember the beats there, right? Mm -hmm. Can you get a nine? Ah, wonderful! You got a nine right there. All right. What if I did this? Be, you know, watch, watch what I'm going to do. It's going to be, it might be tricky. What is that? Nine. Yeah! Couldn't trick you there, right? What did I do? You put five and four. That's right. Because five plus four equals nine. When I have one single bar out here, and I write 9, I'm going to call this a monomial. Okay? But, even though it's the same value, even though this is the same as 9, we're going to write it in an algebraic form. This is... 5 plus 4. And we call this kind of term a binomial. Okay? So, 9 is a monomial. 5 plus 4, even though it's the same thing, is a. It's a um... By bino binomial. Yeah, binomial. Binomial. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. I'm going to skip to a really interesting part here. What I have here is what? A. It's a, a hundred square. Yeah. What do we have here? 100 square. 100 square. I'm going to take my rubber bands. I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to divide this up into parts. this amount here and this here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Look at that. A complete side is how long? Oh, ten. Ten. But we divided this up a little bit, though, didn't we? Mm hmm How much is in this sector here? Seven. Seven, and this is? Three. Three. Take a look at this side. We have another ten altogether, right? How many is here? Three. Three. How many is here? Seven. Seven. Take a look at this here. How many in this part? Three. Three. Seven. Seven. Over here, you have seven. Seven and, and three. three. 